decades since the school shooting that shook the nation, the survivor's message to others today. The tragic deaths of students Layla Aiken and Alana Tamplin have the community coming together, making sure that no other child gets hurt while waiting for the school bus. Today, Lowe's Home Improvement donated 100 picnic tables to the benches for our babes group. The group is putting these tables at bus stops for kids. Volunteers spent their Saturday building some of these tables, as you can see right here. Lowe's also donated reflector lights and chains to prevent the picnic tables from getting stolen. We want them to be safe and to stay in that location because our children are going to need them. Uh, we want those children to use them and, uh, and then have those reflectors around them so they can feel safe. Earlier this week, the Cape Coral City Council discussed permanent bus stop seating. Last week, they established a subcommittee who will address issues such as paving and curbing and making sure seating is ADA compliant. They plan to present their recommendations to the council. Former Walmart employee facing charges of stealing a laptop. Collier County deputies say Todd Terry walked right into the store and took that item. Investigators say Terry worked for Walmart two years ago. They say he took the laptop to a pawn shop and got at least $300 for it. Terry has since bonded out of jail. And this man is... A community continues to heal after the horrors that unfolded inside the halls of a high school. Today marks two decades since the Columbine School shooting. And earlier tonight, survivors and others came together to remember the 12 students and a teacher who died in Littleton, Colorado. Many of the Columbine survivors now helping others through their own tragedy. The Night Morgan Reiner is in studio now with how they're working with other Floridian communities. Morgan. Bridge is set to be fast tracked. Lawmakers hope to clear it this year. The bill would make firefighters eligible to receive disability or death benefits if they're diagnosed with certain types of cancer. On Thursday, the House Sen State Affairs Committee unanimously approved to advance this measure. We told you about this before. Lots of firefighters get cancer on the job. Many states already have a law in place to get them coverage, but Florida does not. And there's a new location to get medical marijuana in Southwest Florida. It's called Coral Reefer, and a big name involved in this big name involved in this project is Jimmy Buffett. They just opened up in Bonita Springs. They plan to expand to more markets across the U.S. And come this Monday, Democrats promise to reveal their next steps just days after the release of the Mueller report. This weekend, President Donald Trump was all smiles from Mar-a-Lago, but a flurry of frantic tweets suggests he. And when you think of the when you think of Easter, the image of the Easter bunny comes to mind. Well, this weekend he got some help from some bikers here. For me, it's important. We have no feelings whatsoever. Anika Henniger, Wink News now. And the Rockstar Hog chapter says it will continue to spread all those toys throughout the year to other hospitals around the area too. That is so sweet to see, and I can't say I've ever seen an Easter bunny on the back of a hog. Yeah. So that's a new way to get kids' attention. Very Southwest Florida <laughs> for sure. I love it. Look like fun. Wink News, the weather. An Alachua County horse safe and sound after getting trapped. Firefighters used chainsaws to free the horse. It got stuck after a tree fell on it. The horse suffered only minor injuries. And the stormy weather causing winds and a high red or a red flag warning at beaches in Gainesville this weekend. Something that isn't keeping people away. When you get here, it's stop and it's nice. He don't care because he's out having fun. It's too cold, but it's fine. <laughs> I got cold. Well, the storm also brought down trees and power lines, and no one was hurt. We had our fair share of storms yesterday, windy conditions today. Yeah. Tomorrow's a good day, though, Easter. Easter. We want there to be good conditions. And it's going to be perfect tomorrow morning. 58 degrees. He uh, said he likes cold. It's yeah. kind of chilly <laughs> for us. That's the coolest temperature we've seen. The New details in a murder case where it appears a wife plotted killing her husband for years. Detectives in Oregon believe author Nancy Crampton Brophy started planning long before she posted an article in 2011 called How to Murder Your Husband. The Night Beats Joe Douglas explains what investigators found. Nancy Brophy's 2011 article, I Murdered My Husband. And that was Joe Douglas reporting. Investigators say Nancy told them she'd taken out a $40,000 life insurance policy on Daniel. They later discovered she was the beneficiary on several policies valued at more than $350,000. Nancy pled not guilty to the murder. Nearly a year after four people. A bus driver is being held as a hero tonight after she fought off a hijacker. Police in Washington said a man climbed aboard a bus and demanded a ride. When she refused, he tried to take over and indicate he had a gun. A viewer sent in the video of police chasing the bus and described the frightening scene. 
And breaking right now, at least one person is dead in a crash in North Fort Myers at US 41 and Avenue A. Let's get right out to the night beats Morgan Reiner. She just got to the scene. Now, Morgan, what can you tell us? Well, I did just pull up a minute ago, but let me walk you through what I'm seeing right now. There are about half a dozen FHP and Lee County Sheriff Office deputies here. Now, it was a little bit hard to find at first, but my photographer is going to zoom over to a ditch on the side of the road. I believe that's where a car made its final stop on the side of the road over there. Uh, what we do have confirmed from FHP that it is a fatal crash, and right now that's all we know, but I will continue to stay on top of this. So, trust Wink news to bring you any more updated information. I'm live on the night beat Morgan Reiner Wink news now. Okay, Morgan, thank you. We'll be sure to stay on top of this breaking news and continue updating you with any new developments. We'll be right back. An anti-gun rally takes a turn when a man pulls out what appears to be a gun. It scared a lot of people there. He tried to shoot. I'm going to get a gun. He got a gun. I know, I saw that. Hold on. Get with the gun. Be careful, be careful. Get with the gun. But the man in the car says it wasn't a gun, but a club he uses for, steer, for his steering wheel. He says he pulled it out when the rally people attacked his car in West Palm Beach. No one got hurt, and deputies say no charges will be filed. Firefighters put out a tractor fire. You can see right here. This happened in Philsmere, west of Vero Beach. Check out all of this. You could soon be pulled over for texting and driving. A Florida Senate committee has approved a bill that would make it a primary offense. It now moves to the full Senate for a vote. The Florida House is set to vote on a similar bill next week. Both chambers will have to combine their bills before the governor can sign it. It's hard to know the pain anyone's dealing with by just looking at them, and that's the case for this Alba woman as she walks the runway here. Another popular piece. Uh, Jennifer Scalora isn't a fashion model, but she's a role model for people battling with an inflammatory disease called lupus. When she discovered she was diagnosed with the same sickness she lost her mother to, she wasn't about to give up. The Night Beats Melinda Lee has her story. Think news now. Now, if you know an inspiring person that wants to tell their story, let us know on the Wink News app. There you can also share Melinda's story. A Cape Coral driver is being held as a hero after she fought off a hijacker. Police in Washington say a man climbed aboard and demanded a ride. When she refused, he tried to take over and it indicated he had a gun. A viewer sent in the video of police chasing the bus and described the frightening scene. So I just pulled over to the side and then the next thing I know, I see the police officers in front of me throwing out a spike strip and then this bus coming to the stop. And you know, it was just, it was kind of frightening, but. Well, thanks so much for joining us tonight. We hope you have a very happy Easter tomorrow. Two Broke Girls is up next. For more news, make the switch over to Week News at 11 on Week TV. See you over there.